Welcome back to my channel, Simplicity A. Marie. Um, I am coming back to you guys live with another video. And before we start this video, please make sure that you guys like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any comments, feel free to leave some down below. So, um, today's video is just going to consist of one, my Sunday, and overall my weekend. Um, March 8th, 2015 is a day that I'll never forget. It was my grandma's, my grandma passed away. And today marks five years since she left us. Um, my grandma, there's so many words to, ex there's so many words that I can explain that describes her to a T. I feel like um, caring, thoughtful, gentle, nurturing, unbelievable, sweet, honest. She was everything to me. And I got the pleasure of, you know, having a relationship unlike other for 25 years with my grandma and I'm so blessed that I was able to spend as much as time as I did with her I have memories when I was my kids age you know from my baby boy to my oldest and on some things she was the glue that kept our family together you know so many wonderful memories I have with my grandma you know memories of me my mom, my brothers, my grandpa, <laughs> we'd all be at my grandma's house, we'll be at my grandparents' house, and you hear music playing, and you know, she get to putting on Whitney Houston, and then my mom get to singing Whitney Houston, and I get to singing Whitney Houston, and my grandpa is just in the back looking at all of his girls with this huge grin on his face, and it was just... It was just moments like those that I'll always remember. I'll never forget those. I'll treasure those. She was in the delivery room when I had both of my kids, Emmanuel and Isaac. Um, I remember being my son's age and just sitting on the floor right between my grandma's legs and she would just grease my scalp. It would feel so good. I ended up falling asleep. I did that a few times. Um, you know, she was just amazing, and there's not one day that doesn't go by that I don't think about her. I wear her ring every day. I wear her sunglasses. Like, you know, she was, again, she was amazing. I just, I can't put it into words of how remarkable my grandma was and what she did for our family. You know, I remember when I used to work at Kroger, um, I was a cashier at Kroger, the one that just closed on South Limestone. Isn't that crazy? Um... I would be, you know, scanning people and I would look up and I see my grandma come in the store and that's one thing about my grandma. You didn't see my grandma, you see my grandma and my grandpa. I would get out of line and give my grandma a hug and tell her I love her and she would tell people, you see that light skinned girl right there, that, that pretty tall light skinned girl, that's my granddaughter and I'd be like, granny, hi, like I was just so like. Oh my gosh, I just love seeing my grandma any chance I could, you know, from going over there when I get off work or, you know, before I went to work or on my off days. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, while my, at, this, at that time, my, um, my older son was in school and I go over to her house and I watch Judge Joe Brown. She loves Judge Judy. Um, she always laughed at Jerry Springer. She always talked about Maury. So, um a lot of awesome memories and I get in my feelings a lot but it's like I I'm so thankful because I had 25 amazing years with my grandma so you know we went over to my um we went over to my mom's house and we seen her my dad and me my brothers my dad the boys we got her this beautiful vase with these beautiful flowers. They were gorgeous. They were coral and white. They were beautiful. 
and she was really happy, you know, just seeing a smile on her face just does something to me, especially today. Like, I was so happy, like, I just wanted to see my mom because I know today, you know, it doesn't make it any easier. Five years is a long time, and it's like she was just here yesterday. So, um, you know, my dad, he, he was such a really awesome man, he really is, like, he he cooks, he made like fried fish and he did fried okra and I did baked beans and I made his favorite cupcakes and you know we was just really there for my mom today and you know my baby brother came over he ended up getting my baby boy a tablet or whatever so he was really happy about that and um I was talking to my mom about you know their dog Rocky he's a black German Shepherd guys but when I tell you this dude this dog is something else. Like, when he runs, he looks like a daggone cheetah. He runs so fast, it's crazy. And, like, um, his sisters are white. They're, like, white shepherds, right? So, if you look on the back of his legs and stuff, he looks like a wolf. I don't know. He has, like, all this white on him. The white's really coming out big time. It's almost looking grayish, but it's not gray. It's just part of his bloodline. So... It was so good being in the backyard and like my dad and my boys were just playing pass with the football and you know usually Rocky <clears throat> he's so hyper he always like want to play around with my baby boy he did not like that but he was so calm today like he was letting him take the football from him and it was just like the sweetest thing to see and it was funny because um I had took my boys over to my mom's house and when I had came home or whatever um because you know I got some errands done <coughs> excuse me which was a plus plus <coughs> excuse me I cried my throat um which was a plus plus and um my son was downstairs watching Lifetime <laughs> he was like mom this is Lifetime I said man man you don't know the half of it like I used to be at my mom and dad's house before I had kids and no responsibilities but go to school get good grades <laughs> do your chores and um i'd watch lifetime all day like for two movies you look up and it'd be six o'clock like they just get you so drawn in right so i'm watching we down there watching lifetime it was funny but um it was a really good day like like again seeing my mom and seeing her smile just really did something to me even a few times that she laughed did something to me like every time i go over there I just give her this hug and we just rock back and forth and she smells so good. I know as soon as I hug my mom, I have her whole scent all on me and I love it. We was talking about um, her and the dishwashing liquid. There's a story behind that, y'all. So when I was younger, I was doing dishes at like 11, 12 years old. And she had this rule where she had like her bottle of dishwashing liquid. And um, we would have to take a teaspoon it wasn't a tablespoon. I think it was a teaspoon or a tablespoon. I'm pretty sure it was a teaspoon. You ask her, she say tablespoon. But we would have to put the dishwashing liquid in the spoon. And that's as, that's as much as we could use to wash dishes. Now, because, you know, normally me, like now that I'm grown and stuff, I take that bottle and I just be pouring it in. But it really goes a long way with that tablespoon. I'm telling you, like, if I could just go back to mommy's old ways, you know how much dishwashing liquid I would say. <laughs> You know how much money I would be saving for like the dishwasher liquid, dishwashing liquid bottles. So it was good. And then I was in the dining room because I told y'all I made these cupcakes. My dad, he's obsessed with these cupcakes I make. He loves them. And my best friend does too. They're really good. They're really moist, really moist. It's simple. But um, I was in the dining room and I was icing in the cupcakes. And I screamed out, I was like, Mom, you know the only reason why I'm not in that kitchen helping you is because Daddy want me to ice in these cupcakes. She was like, you're fine, baby, you're fine. But trust and believe, when I got done doing those cupcakes, y'all think I went in that kitchen, putting dishes off the rack, putting them away, talking to my mom, I'm doing all that. Like, I'm so blessed to have the wonderful mother that I do. And we ain't perfect, you know what I mean? Far from perfect. But the relationship, the bond that I have with my mom is unexplainable. It's unimaginable. It's so remarkable and amazing to me to this day because 
she is my everything like <clears throat> excuse me like when I tell y'all I love me some her when I tell y'all she is the epitome of a nana when I tell y'all she is so nurturing and calm and caring you know with my with my kids when she comes over you know we all is just like so flabbergasted like we is just all so geek everybody's laughing clowning having a good time be playing games in the kitchen she be making up her songs like it's just like the best thing ever and i don't take stuff like that for granted i really don't because you could be here one minute and on the next and so i'm so glad i got to see her today and i'm so glad you know today wasn't easy by no means but I still got to see my mom and see her, you know, in high spirits. The most that she could, anyway. So, um, that was my Sunday. And then last night, well, actually, guys, my weekend, basketball weekend. I mean, traveling, back-to-back -back games. <laughs> it was a lot. But, you know, my son, he had a good time, as always. And, um... We went to my brother's house. Well, before we went to my brother's house, we went to this place called Pearl's Passions. Now, I'm gonna need y'all to really think about what I just said. It's called Pearl's Passions Food and Fashions, I think. It was definitely called Pearl's Passion. I know that part of it anyway. And um, the food is so good like when I tell y'all it's so good it's so so good like anytime you could do a little bit of shopping while you wait for your food to get done I'm talking fresh hot flavorful season the setting is gorgeous it's so intimate it's so personal you know what I mean like you got these beautiful tables with these nice these nice chairs like you know you got the little the little stools um at the little bar area <clears throat> or whatever it's it's really nice it's not a bar but it's like you know like when you go to like steak and shake and you can go in and you can just sit up on the stool and then you can eat at the table it's kind of like that you got different um choices and options but i had this um um what was what, what did i have a passion yeah, so it was really really good seeing her and i got to you know um chill with both of my brothers it was just like a really good weekend so um i didn't want to make this video too long i just wanted to say um, thank you guys again for your support. Thank you for tuning in with me and thank you for um, You know just again all of your support your views your comments. It's so greatly appreciated again I'm new at this YouTube and I'm sorry. I've been slacking, but I'm definitely trying to get back in the swing of things So um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys later